Hey, yo, what up, y'all? Shea 45, we back. It's the All Out Show. Lord Sarah, Rude Jude, got special guests in the building. Kanye to the easy. What's what up, good? Man? What's going on, B? What up? How you doing, fam? I'm great. Album is out now. Yeah. So you know what? What numbers you think is going going to get you, man? Eventually, or what we gonna do the first week, or what? Mm-hmm. Like, how do you? What do you predict? I can't really predict it. Like, if you ask me what I want to do, I want to sell M the first week. I want to sell <laughs> thirty million records. If you ask me what I want, but I don't know what's gonna happen. Shit, you on the front cover of time, brother? Yeah. <laughs> that shit's <I> hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. When I when I first met you, it was in a uh, some little ass bar in L.A. And now look, dog. Blew the fuck up, fam. Yeah. Oh, Congratulations. <laughs> That's crazy. Now I'm in every bar in LA. And I know, right? Now you get in the, <laughs> now I'm in doctor's offices. <laughs> you all over that shit. I, I need to go and visit every doctor's office now so I can see myself in there. I remember they ain't never had hip hop magazines in there. You got Republicans reading about your ass. Yeah, it's crazy. The gynecologist. Yeah. Man, yeah, you got, you know, young man's coming up like, oh, I know Kanye. You know, he good. He yeah. good shit. The album leaked. I had heard some of it before it even dropped. It wasn't mastered. Wait, which one? Um, you talking about the new one? Yeah. When did you hear it? I heard it today. Okay, cool, cool. Because they had an old joint that, that people were saying it was late registry. I'm like, that's not, I don't have a problem with the joint leaking. Just make sure it's the right joint. Make sure it's the right leak. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It sound like... From from what I heard, it sounds sounds really dope, but it's not mastered. You got to go out and get the go out and buy that shit so you can actually hear hear this shit. They want they want to hear it so bad, but then it's like you get to hear you think you think it's that quality, but it's not that quality. Yeah, you, you got know? Paul Wall on your thing, huh? Yeah, yeah. You you like Paul Wall? I do like Paul Wall, and yeah. I like that you gave a a little nod to to screwed music at the very end of that song. Yeah, you <laughs> slow it down, show some type of respect for what's going on there. I knew that track was gonna get screwed, so I I was <laughs> like, yo, let me just try it first of all. And then plus I had a couple people from Houston in there in the studio, like Mike Dean's from Houston that mixed the record. He said, man, fuck it, you, should screw it. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, all right, let's try it. Shit yeah. sounded sweet at the end. I was yeah. like, "Damn!" That was I thought it was really cool. I thought it was a I thought it was a dope nod that you gave to down south. Man, thank mm -hmm. you, dog. Thank you. For real, most that's my shit right there. Drive slow. <laughs> the whole album's hitting like that. Honestly. Yeah, thank you. You should have threw that one joint that I did on one of your fucking albums. But yo, that's cool. <laughs> nah, it's on. It's on Japan joint. It's on the Japanese. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. My it's mom went to go. That. My mom went to go buy it yesterday. She bought the fucking Twister album. She was like, "I thought you were on Celebrity Overnight. It doesn't sound like you." I'm like, "Nah, ma." <laughs> I ain't that fast on the bike. She's like, "Do you want the Twister album?" I'm like, "I'm good. Shit, I already got it." Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to figure out some other shit for you to talk shit on. See, back then I used to let other people talk shit for me, man. Uh -huh. That's why I started getting in trouble. When I started talking my own shit. Well, yeah, you've been talking mad <laughs> shit lately, dog. Play, hit that button, hit the drop. Hey, how is it, man? Hey. You recognize that? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, I'm serious with it. It's not a game. This is like, come on, man, don't fuck with me. You brought up <laughs> <laughs> every time, like you talking, and he talking over you. So yeah. you you peeped that right? Yeah, yeah you like it. yeah. What's up? Hey, why don't you just do a freestyle about it, Kanye? Why don't you just do a, Why don't you just do a freestyle about it? Tell us how you really feel. I got your back. <laughs> just do a freestyle. Yo, he said me with the mad rap. Tell him why you mad, son. <laughs> Tell him why you mad. <laughs> now you was upset because mm -hmm. I'm guessing from what I heard, this is a Canadian station because mm -hmm. he was talking about Toronto and them. Yeah. They took out white girl. In the song, yeah, which is fucking bullshit. Yeah, it don't make yeah. no sense. Cause I ain't think I ain't think that line was offensive to nobody like that. It's not yeah. offensive. Yeah, it's not offensive so, at all. So I felt like it was racist, and then dude was patronizing me, like fam. I mean, as a man, let me talk. But come on, fam, I'm I'm Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I and you know what? And on that note, let's come right back and play some music, man. Yo, what song you want to get into the album, man? Man, damn, the whole album is crazy. I be. Okay. We on this album, we be arguing about what's the worst song on the album. Like we can't even pick the best song. We could do. Damn. We want to start at the beginning. Heard him say, "Feature Adam Levine from Room 5. That's right. Let's get into it, man. Let's run to that right now. Eight 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 Shay forty five. The toll free number to call. Speak to Kanye West. He is definitely in the building. It's the all out show. Lord Sarah, Rude Jew. Let's get into it, y'all.
Yo, what's up, Shay 45, man? Lord Sear. Roju, we got Kanye West here. What's okay. up, Doggy? What up, what up, fam? It's yeah. good to have you here, man. It really is. Let's just first off, I was watching you on some other shit, and you you referenced Portis Head as being a big influence mm. on like uh, someone that you really admired. Mm. Why don't you explain that? Why don't you uh, explain to the listeners? Well, what's funny is you was talking about the track Dry Slow earlier, which gives me that type of feel, too, because right. they had those hard drums and really murky type samples and instruments and all the string, the layers of strings, and you get that on the college dropout. It's, it's just vibe out music. You could ride to it. You could be in your apartment chilling to it. And I felt like they track sounded hip-hop, but they was like on another level. And I felt like rappers ain't really touched that level um, right. uh, musicality yet Yeah yeah mm. Because it's like You know Sample beat just Keep it simple Keep it simple Keep it hip hop But I'm telling people It could be hip hop Just turn the drums up loud And still make the, Your message powerful And make right. your lyrics hot mm. So It was fucking I thought it was really dope Alright let's go into messages The whole The whole diamonds joint Yeah A lot of people Now Now what you did in the video And you touched on the Kind of the fact of uh, slave labor slash, you know, child labor, however you want to call it. You got these little motherfuckers digging out diamonds and shit, and then rappers are rocking them on their chains, and everybody's rocking them on their chains. Right. So so what I'm saying is, I just wanted to educate the people about um, conflict diamonds and blood diamonds. You know, the diamond industry, they've done a lot to stomp out the uh, conflict diamonds. I talked to Russell Simmons about this yesterday. But now at this point we need to rebuild those communities. So it's not telling people to stop buying diamonds. Let's still buy diamonds because they need to sell these diamonds to help rebuild and educate the people. So what they need in these countries are schools and maybe factories. Because they don't have factories in Africa. Right. Like that. Where where the black people can actually go in and work and and have more value for their diamonds and more more value for their stones and make more money off what they got to offer. So so the so f since then I I got so since then they don't have the uh the what blood diamonds anymore. Yo, no, there's still conflict diamonds. There's still people smuggling diamonds. It's not completely stomped out. Right. But what happened was. They had a war, like this takes Sierra Leone, that ended about four years ago, a 10-year war where people were killing each other over these diamonds right. and, and trying to like smuggle them out the country. Mm -hmm. And then, but also, that it was another co company that had a, a monopoly over the diamonds mm -hmm. and had people working for nowhere near, let's say, what they actually holding in their hand. Right, right. You know. So it's, do you feel like wearing diamonds would perpetuate Perpetuate people buying blood diamonds and not really. No, just of, make sure that your diamonds are certified. Make sure that they certified. And what we're trying to do is make it a situation where the Africans can get paid more off of their resources. People can. People accuse you of just bringing that up as, as like, uh, look, look at me. I'm Kanye West. You know, I did Jesus walks last time. Now diamonds is my next. This is my next thing. What do you say to the people that say that bullshit? Well, I feel like it's things that God wants me to touch on because I had no plans of talking about that right. when I made the record. And then I feel like God placed angels in my life that led me down that path to say, okay, talk about that. I felt like Shorty in Sixth Sense. You know, he just walking around. Next thing he get like a right. tug, like, yo, come here, look at this. Look what's happening right here. Right. And then I'm compelled to speak about it. So it, it's dope that I feel like people are educated by that. I mean, the record itself didn't do well at radio in comparison to my other records in comparison to like a gold digger or slow jams all falls down right but i feel like it connected the, the and even though the original version the rockefeller version connected with with the fans because that shows now everybody be screaming forever ever 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 and i don't do anything my thing is i just do things from my heart this is what i want to talk about there's nothing where i'm trying to Figure out some type of publicity stunt or anything like that. So, well, regardless, you got people discussing diamonds. So, I mean, I think that's really dope. Let's go into the Rockefeller. You, yeah. you with Def Jam now? Am I right or? or well, right? yeah, Rockefeller is it, still on Def Jam. I'm still going through Rockefeller. It, are yeah. you dealing with Damon Dash in in that vein anymore? Nah, nah. I only yeah. I only deal with Jay. And um, how's that affected your relationship with Damon? I'm still. I mean, I'm still cordial with. With Damon, it's still it's still all good, but it was a business decision, right, to roll with Jay, and 
this is this is business and they got to respect if you meet somebody on business terms you can leave on business terms most definitely okay yeah. you know yeah. <laughs> yeah i guess i guess he is the <laughs> ultimate businessman yeah. <laughs> yeah. see why he wouldn't understand that it's right. business uh, man speaking about business man what track we going to get into man what track Yo. you want to hear man uh, man i want to hear the whole album i'll be no, no, <laughs> no, we talk about did we play drive slow yet no, let's play drive slow. And we gonna yeah. come up. Let's get Yo, the drive slow. Oh, yeah. we've been trying to get you in here to go through the whole album and talk about every cut. Okay. So let's let's do that one of these days. I mean, how much time we got? Now nah, I don't know if we got enough time right now. See? I'll break down some shit for you. <laughs> See, all right. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know what? Let's get to it, man. We're gonna get the drive slow. Come back, with Kanye. Eighty eight shade forty five. It's the all out show. Eighty eight shade forty five. The toll-free number to call. We are back. It's the all-out show. Lord Seer, Rude Jew. What's up? What's up? What's up, dog? Got Kanye. Everything, Kanye. dog. We just talking about the different songs people like. Okay. Say, like, crack music. Mm -hmm. Jew, like, like Roses, the song mm -hmm. about my grandmother. I like the joint mm -hmm. with um, Nas. Was there any, like, conflict with that? With, like, knowing that, you know, that Nas and Jay-Z thing. First song about conflict. They gave me a line right there, like, Diamonds. They say... The first song about conflict diamonds. This song about conflict rhyming. So mm. Look, look at so my, look at how we look at that. <laughs> we got to see him at work. <laughs> this motherfucker. Okay. Yo, so um, yeah, you you know me and dude go way back. You know he, he came over my crib and shit back in the days because he, he from Chicago. He was building with well, me you know, about from that. Detroit. Yeah, but you know I, Chicago's like my second home. Right. He was building with me about that on the joint. I was over at Pulaski and 40 some shit so just the other day. Man. Driving around over there. Driving slow. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you got to do it. So what, what song, what, whatever y'all want to do, if y'all want to ask me questions, I'll break down how, how the song came about. We want to talk about That's what, what I want to break down. Um, we Major. Yeah, the yeah. We Major, the joint with um, Nas. Yeah, so... Um, um, that was crazy because you did the diss track. You did the beat. I did take over. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, and let me just tell you, beat for beat, yeah. takeovers killing ether, yeah. killing ether. Just the track, the track. Well, yeah. I personally think track no. I'm, I personally feel like Jay got him, but yo, that's neither here nor there. We nah, talking like about ether, but we talking about yeah. the tracks. Now nah, you kill him, dog. That's my opinion. Use man. that man the way he Jay Ether's got tough, on that man. shit. Yeah, oh, the ether, that man. was it, man. Because it's like he talking about. Nas and Nas just had to go three verses. Like that's the one man. high album every he ten year average. All he had to do was say that shit like eight times, and he would have got him. <laughs> that's just one little line. You talking uh, about? So Nas we got Kanye killing. right here. We over here arguing in between yeah, Kanye. Man. Anyway, he the shit was done. Uh, but, anyway. I, I forget about that line. That line was kind of crazy. The takeover beat was fucking crazy. Jay did his thing on it, and then the next thing on this album, and it speaks volumes of how how well you've done for yourself. You've got Nas rhyming on a track with you. Yeah, what what it's saying is that exactly what that is. We major, we above, we above that, and that was good for hip hop. And let and it lets yeah. people know that that's what hip hop is. And this we major, this is what hip hop is. And the fans wanted that. We did it for the people, you know. What I'm saying they wanted to hear that. Like that's exciting for people when Nas voice comes in. It's like it's Nas on the track, fan. It's Nas. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe it <laughs> on Rockefeller joint. Like when you first heard Nas come in, what you what, what you was thinking? I was like, what the fuck? I I, I really I rewound it on my little uh, on the thing. I was like, this is... oh hell no, that's motherfucking I'm like, Nas. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on, man. They doing yeah. the bootleg remix already, man. Yeah. You know they got the black gray orange album. I'm like, yeah. they start with the. We heard him say Nas <laughs> with the fans. They say Nas with the fans want his Elmatic steel. Looked at the patent pencil and jotted what I feel. And we said. Just when he said his name on the right. track, just there the nah, nah, nah. That, you know? that shit was crazy. And and the, the cool thing about it, that's like a seven minute cut. Yeah. It's really yeah. cool to just to actually just to uh vibe out on one song. So many so many of these songs are in stuck in a three minute time period and he was able to just do that shit. Yeah, yeah they, hell yeah. They got the earth wind ba da ba ba like That is fire. the earth wind fire vibe, right? That's mm -hmm. Tony Williams, my cousin, he sang all over the whole that on roses he sang nice. at the end of Drive Slow he sang. Okay. Uh what's it? Hold on, hold on, it's another joint he, he killed. <laughs> Let me look through the album. <laughs> um, uh, he sang a crack music. Um, and some other stuff. I come back to it. Though. Let me read. Let me read something to you. Mm -hmm. We go on a mass today. We have to pray. Besides what the pastors say, I have to say, once Pac passed away, most of these rappers don't deserve a track from me. 
That shit was crazy, right? That track is crazy. <laughs> that rap is... Man, who wrote that? It's cat <laughs> named, it's cat named <laughs> Kanye West. Oh, I thought it was a reggae cat. Huh? Why, don't you, why don't you explain that to me a little bit? Like, because I kind of hear where you're coming from, but I, I'd, I'd love for you to explain to I, the to I, the listeners. I feel like the fans be feeling like that. They be feeling like they don't want to just hear anybody on one of my beats. Right. You got you got to be special to be on it. And it's, it's still... It's a lot of people that want on my beats that I don't have time to do. Right. Yeah, but, you know, I was... That's one of the ones where I was getting a lot of frustration off my chest. As you see, that's like one of the more serious songs in there. Yeah. And I, I just had to go ahead and rip, rip, you know, get on some MC shit and rip niggas right quick. Yeah. And it just so happened, you know, people rhyming, you know, you, you use your advantages. You use whatever you got over people. I got tracks. Yeah. Uh, like I'm like I'm like like somebody who played basketball, they won't let nobody see they ball and shit. Like, you can't see my tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. You can't play with my tracks. <laughs> I took it a different way. I took it like half the half the rappers out there suck and they don't deserve to be on one of your songs. <laughs> <laughs> That's how man. I took it. Well, hey, man, hey, if you want to take it like that, that's how I took that's it. That's from the words of Rude Jude. That's oh, <laughs> damn, man. Yo, let's play another song. Is it, you got to go, Kanye, or you going to stick around for one more? No, yeah, we stick around for one more. All right, man, we got Kanye. I, I, would, ne I would never do this in any other situation. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, that, that, this up. Oh. Hey. <laughs> what song you want to hear, man? What, hey, y'all can pick it, whatever joint y'all want. I want to hear We Major. All right, well, no, let's, I wanted to hear the Roses song, but all right, why don't we do both of them? I right, bet that. Oh, God we'll, go, we'll do we major first, and then at the next one coming out, we'll do the Roses. Definitely. And then we we'll crack music later. That's right. We, we got the classic. whole nine. Yo, it's Kanye day today. <laughs> you could tell that that was Payla Bill on Roses. No. Nah. Where yeah, were the yeah. drums? Where are those drums from in the in the break? I, 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 I see you can't. Yeah, hear. I, 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 I'm yeah. a producer, also. You tell, can't really tell me gotta, later, because I, <laughs> I recognize those motherfuckers. Yeah, Yo, I, let's do it up, man. I'm emailing my cousin like, where the fuck are those drums from? <laughs> yeah. But I did peep the Otis Redding up in that bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you doing beats now? Excuse me, Jew. Damn. Shay 45 is the all out show. We'll be right back. Lord said, Rude Jew. I'm Shay 45. We up in here. Lord said, Rude Jew. Kanye West. What's up, dog? Man, everything. You see, the album came out crazy. They said I couldn't do it. Now I'm back. I'm back. It's like Rocky too. Damn. Yeah. It's out today. <laughs> yeah. Damn, That's fucking dope. It's, yo, <laughs> let me tell you something. I couldn't be more happier than for you than anybody else because I was reading. I was reading articles yeah. like like in all these magazines from way back in the day, and they all doubting him. And he's like, Yo, I'm gonna go X amount million, and they're like, Nah, nah, nah. Next thing you know, this motherfucker got a Grammy, dog, and it's really dope. It's it's yeah. really dope that you follow your dreams. You, you might remember, be a cocky you bastard. They, you remember but they were shitting on dreams. me? Yeah, yeah. I do remember that shit. Yeah. They're like, "Is he an asshole?" In all the articles, I'm like, "Yo, my man got it. He got it. He got it." And then he did it. So yeah. I was real happy to see you do it, man. Man, thank you. It just feel good. I did. I did it for the people, man. They had to see yeah. somebody come up, rise up against everybody, all the naysayers. And what I'm asking people to do is not not look at my confidence and 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 feel intimidated by it, but apply that to what you're doing. Anything that you do in life, whatever you do, just just be Kanye West for a day. Just stunt for a second, man. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're doing, just stunt on them right quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. I feel mm -hmm. good for yourself. You're your own person. You we, well, you know what? You didn't... Well, don't listen to everything you got to say because you actually... <laughs> You put you put time and practice and patience and you developed your skill. We got a lot of cocky motherfuckers that just suck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, practice too, <laughs> and then stunt. Uh, yeah, you can't just you know just wild out like yeah, man. I, I know I'm great. No, you in Time Magazine? How'd you feel about that? Yeah, I felt I felt really good to be on the the cover of it. I, I felt like I was misrepresented in one of the parts in the magazine. No, I, I don't want to dwell on that, but they had a part where it said after getting rejected at meetings, I left crying, and that and it's just false. That never happened, and I don't know if it's something where I said it and it got taken differently. Like, dog, I used to cry about that. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what yeah. that means. But you know, of course, when it gets transferred, tr translated from ghetto language to time life language. Uh, exactly. <laughs> like Kanye was weeping in the corner. <laughs> he tied his sneakers and he was so mad he started crying. Kanye was yeah. in the fetal position <laughs> crying <laughs> after this last meeting. Tupac Shakur. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I, I didn't want to say anything, but like in the De La Soul, they, they do the whole tree, the rap history tree. Yeah. Four goofy hip hop, hop hippies, charm charts. 
Yeah, Last time I, I checked, wasn't there three people in Daylight Light Soul? Yeah, they bugging out, man. Who wrote that? Man? And, what, and what they mean, goofy? I, yeah, that's like, sad. How do you feel about that when you have white media? Like, this is the epitome, epitome of white media. Right. Yeah. Embracing you and covering you. Do you feel like they do a fair job of it? I just feel like... I mean, this is their first time out, so you can give them a little leeway. You know right, what I'm right. They yeah. try. They want. They want to make it so everybody can understand it. It's a lot of things they want to break down with the hip hop. They can't write it as if people know. Like Double XL is for people that's already in the know. Right. But one thing I I, I feel like it's really good for for black people, for hip hoppers, for the hip hop community. But I feel like they try to separate me a little bit, like. I know you guys don't like hip hop, but it's okay to like Kanye West because he's not really hip hop like what you think. And I'm like, nah, I really am. I ain't hear crack music. Mm-hmm. You know, I really am. Like I always brought the hood. I'm I'm in the Grammys. Like, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. you'll never know. Yeah. Most. You know, <laughs> mad and shit, yeah. bitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. So, but I pre I appreciate being on the cover, but I'm a, I'm a just I still gotta I gotta be me. No doubt, man. Definitely, man. Almost. So, well, yeah, we got to go, man. On, on that note, oh, damn, man. Kanye West got to be him. Yo, thank you for coming by. Really, for real, real, real. It's good. It's just good to have some people that we respect come by the show. Right, and Because uh, he said, because it's so few and far between. No, it really is. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, 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 I try hard. This is hard work, man. I do this for y'all. I ain't trying to come out here and just get a check. I do this for the love, man. I give up everything I got to make the best music. I got a lot to live up to. But it's not just about my name. It's about y'all not going to the store thinking Kanye finna have some hot shit. You pop it in some bullshit. I don't want to do that. I don't want to make nobody feel like that. Mm-hmm. Well, you didn't. Oh, you, yo, I was worried. I was like, this shit better not suck. I listened to it. I was like, yo, this shit don't suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that man's crazy, man. And you know, you know, he'd tell you, know, he had shit on it if it was. He was like, yo, yo, honestly, yay, what you do? Yo, what, what happened? happened? <laughs> what happened, man? When I first met him, I'm telling, him the, I'm telling him the songs he needs to put on his fucking album. I'm yeah. like, yo, you need to have that coming home joint. You yeah. need to lead out with that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know my man and shit. Yeah. I'm trying to tell him yeah. what the fuck to do. He's looking yo, at you I like, to, fuck, man. I, I, I wish I'd put that home shit on there. If I put home instead of breathing, breathing. It'd be a little mistake, so I wish I'd go back and change the college dropout. But... You know, it's whatever. It was it was a classic, and it was embraced by everybody across the board, and that's hard to do. Yeah, to to keep to just to do you and be embraced like that is fucking dope. Yo, why don't you drop? Yo, stop it, man. Wait, hold on. Yo, stop it, man. Damn. He is talking. <laughs> All right, you got the last word. This is Shade Forty Five. Let's play that's that right. roses joint. That's right, man. Let's get some clap. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's not talking, man. Let's get into the classic right here. 88 Shade 45. It's the all out show. Lord Say Ruju. Peace to Kanye West in the building. Good luck. Do the damn thing, homie. Thanks, dog. No doubt. It's the all out show. Pay- That's right. Talking about fucking 88 Shade 45. It's the all out show. What up, y'all? Yeah, we got the we got the CEO. How you say it? Promising? Promescent. Oh man, I fucked that one up. <laughs> Jeff Abraham here. Promescent. CEO of Promescent. Uh this is for this this it's a product that's for like premature ejaculation. It was developed for premature ejaculation. What else can it be used for? It's very recreational. Because like there so? are people that don't really have P E but would like to last a little bit longer. Okay. There are cases where a man goes, I last long enough for my woman to climax before I do, but the last two minutes I'm walking on eggshells and I'm really cognizant of the fact, wait, 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 you know, I gotta wait until she's done. Yeah. I tell people, if that's the case, you would benefit by having a greater degree of control where you could really be into the moment without worrying and then have her finish and go, okay, now it's my time. You, I, I have, I'm the opposite. Like mm-hmm. I cannot bust fucking nuts. Mm-hmm. So, but mm-hmm. that being said, there's certain drugs I like to do that make me make a motherfucker nut mad quick. So maybe this will be helpful. Absolutely. Have you ever tried this with uh, like MDMA or 2CE? Shit. No, I. I, like I, science I, drugs. I haven't done any science drugs. I've used alcohol and weed, you know, but yeah. I haven't gone past that. What kind of alcohol, right. like a uh, cognac or? You know, whatever your choice is, a fine wine, cognac, I mean, a couple beers. Uh, generally, though, you've heard the term whiskey dick. A lot of times when people drink to excess, they can't nut anyhow. All right, so let me ask you this. How is this? Uh, let's, let's actually talk about the premature ejaculation. Is this mm-hmm. just, 
How much is this just a lack of discipline? That's an old wives' tale. You really? know, for a lot of times, people would go, it's in your head, it's mental, you don't have the proper control. Urologists have now certified that this is a disease state. By a disease state, they mean there's physiological reasons. There is prostatitis. There's serotonin levels in the brain. How many people actually have prostatitis? Probably ten to twelve percent of the population. And how many people have? Uh, who, how many people are busting nuts quickly? <laughs> if you want to talk about the the definition, the medical community. Yeah, has what given is the it. definition? The of definition of nut. premature ejaculation is ridiculous. It's never lasting more than sixty seconds during any type of intercourse, oral sex, masturbation, any so type. So that can't be that many people. Well, that's about twelve percent of the population, if you can believe that. It's that high. That but the crazy part is, can you imagine telling somebody that lasts 68 seconds or 90 seconds, you don't have P.E.? That's what's, ridiculous. What's P.E. to you? P.E. to me is if you can benefit by lasting longer. If you and your partner... That's you selling me, man. Please, what is, man, what is really on. premature ejaculation but in your But if you brain? last four minutes and your partner gets off substan- you know, significantly and she's happy with that and you're happy with that, then that's not P.E., but if you last four minutes and your partner takes eight minutes, that's why it's subjective. That's P.E. because you're prematurely ending that. Now, here's what will it's, it's this if will, you can't see it through. That's exactly you can't get your girl to if you can't be there by the time your girl busts a nut. Then that's exactly. Now, think about this for a second. We're talking average males and females. This is in P.E. The average male during intercourse lasts five minutes and 40 seconds. The average female during intercourse takes 19 Jeff, minutes to achieve I'm ejaculation. I'm killing these cats. I'm killing these motherfuckers, Jeff. <laughs> oh, man. So My think about that. My dick game is strong, Jeff. It's strong? I'm showing it to you. <laughs> for me, it takes wow, that's impressive. Oh, yeah. God. For that me, is impressive. For me, it takes two minutes, three minutes. So you're below average. Uh, I can't. Enough you are that. below average. But a lot of people use coping mechanisms. Like what? Extended foreplay to get the woman closer. Why is there 8 pussy. billion vibrators in the world? Eating pussy. Exactly. Yeah. All these things to get it closer so by the time you actually start the intercourse that she's ready to go. Wouldn't you wow. like it if you didn't have to do anything but jump on and make her orgasm two or three times? How is yes. this different than How is this different than the premature ejaculation shit that's out the, a lot of them will use that aura gel shit it's basically the fucking the numb the make your sh- make your dick numb totally different how okay. so ron dr ron gilbert who developed this product was a urologist and they evaluated what was out there they're called the cane products lidocaine prilocaine benzocaine they make you numb they make you last longer but you're numb your you're partner's not feeling numb. Shit, you're yeah. not feeling anything in fact you're going hey i'm lasting longer i don't know if i'm having sex i can't feel anything i'm numb then your partner's numb Ron created a process to take lidocaine from a crystal to an oil aqueous form. It penetrates the stratum corneum, so it goes... Why are you saying all these science words? I'm trying to explain to you why it works. You said science words. Yeah. Okay, we'll take the science words out of it. Yeah, talk to me like a retarded monkey. He developed a process that takes the active ingredient below the surface of the skin, so within 10 minutes it's gone. Okay. So the man maintains surface sensitivity. He's not numb. And the woman doesn't even know you're using it. So instead uh. of the woman being numb, the man being numb, and by the way, that's patented every which way till Tuesday. We made sure we did that. You guys got that shit. We got that shit right, completely locked Ooh. up. So what happens is the man maintains a much higher degree of surface sensitivity, and the woman doesn't even know he's using it. Now, what do you do when you want a nut? Like, what you, do you have to concentrate. You got to really think. You got to really think about. It, okay, now it's time to finish. But I don't know about you. You're a lot younger than me. But when you're fifty some years old, fifty seven in my case. You don't it, look a day over 56, Jeff. I love it. I love it. That's why I came on the show. That's I right, knew, They told me you were complimentary. Mm-hmm. But your orgasms and your climaxes might not have the same intensity they do when you're younger. Yeah. But when you last 30, 35 minutes you before... You can build up. Oh, it's a build up, and it is explosive. And it it how, almost reminds you when you were younger. How's your ejaculate? Is it, is, is it explosive, or does it ooze out? Well, at like, my age, it's more oozing, you know? Yeah, it's like, mm. yeah, exa- it's like a dribble, dribble. But <laughs> if you use promescent, it's the fire hose yeah, again. My you know, back to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 42. 882 343345. Actually, a lot of people are calling up about this already. Um, I was actually, it was funny, like, I was just having sex yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, this has nothing to do with it. I was just having sex. Oh, no, I'm awesome. I, let me tell you something. Be proud. I mean, yeah. But she bled all over my shit, man. And it was like, it was that deal where it was like I kept trying to concentrate to bust that nut. And then. Wait, you mean bled? Like, yeah, t- are you that well endowed that you no, were wounding her? Was, or was it I that time of the she, month? Or I what was going she, on I there? I thought she was really turned on, 
Tur- uh, it turns out she just, it was that time of the month all of a okay. sudden. Okay, yeah. I like to think they're really turned on by maybe a certain amount of moisture, but not blood. You know what I mean? Well, you don't know. If it, it was that in sounds the dark. medical. Like, she might need some attention. It was a fucking crime scene <laughs> by the time we got done. Did they put tape around the thing and put a you know chalk line on I put it when bleach you're done? In the, I put bleach in the washer. That's why you keep... <laughs> everybody goes with the dark sheets, but I go white. You know what I mean? So you can bleach the fuck out of it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so this shit is... So it might not necessarily I wouldn't need to use it all the time but if I'm in if I'm in situations where I know that my peepee man that's what I'm going to call my penis my yes. little my little bitty peepee man is yeah. in uh a little tinglier than usual that's when you rock That out would with be that. when you'd bust out the promescent. Would it be like a speedball if I did like a a speedball for my dick if I did like a bunch of yohimbi and ginseng and like all of the fucking dick pills and then did the promescent? They have a different effect. Those are to get an erection. This doesn't give you an erection. This allows you to last a lot longer. But you, I know that from personal experience and a lot of our users will tell us that they love the Viagra Cialis promescent combination. Or, That's like you know, the speed ball right That's there, exactly boy. right. You got it all going on. Not just, only are you loud and proud, that you're lasting. You, you just bang it out. Exactly. Woo! That sounds like it's like basically you, you know it's like basically like the stare. This is we're entering the steroid era of baseball right now. Well, if you think about it, and I tell people this all the time, it's the same mentality. People want to maximize every area of their life. If you're going to work out, do you want to gain three percent of musculature or do you want to gain ten percent? If you're being intimate, do you want to operate at eighty percent or ninety percent? And I tell people this because sometimes people are all you know, afraid of their masculinity. You go, oh, we have this product, and guys get, like, really paranoid. Oh, I don't need that. And then 10 minutes later, the wife comes over and goes, give me some of that. We need it in our relationship. Can people get addicted to this shit? Will it fuck up your dick if you use it too much? We've sold over 200,000 bottles so far, and we've never had a call of any kind of complaint. We've had informational calls, but to our contraindications line, that's the line if you're having difficulties, no one's ever called, oh, my God, I have these medical issues, you know. The only issue is if you're allergic to lidocaine, it'll itch a little bit. That's it. There are no other. I got. I, I agree with you to a certain extent about it. Like you know, there's some medical conditions, but I also think that a lot of cats just don't have dick control. Like they just don't have dick control for there, whatever reason. Yeah, there's there's absolutely. You're making absolute. it easier on them to buy it, so they don't feel so bad yeah. about themselves. But yeah. a lot of you guys need a fucking. There are. There is a psychological component in some cases, and even guys who have control, if they're with a really hot girl the first time. Sometimes you're so aroused, you have a higher degree of sensitivity. If you go a long time in between intercourse or in between ejaculating, you're going to be a lot more sensitive. So even guys that have control, just like you said, you might take a certain drug, you might have a certain situation that comes up where you're with someone brand new, really hot first time, and you're so turned on, that's going to make you hypersensitive. Yeah. There's another thing that people used that for, to treat PE. It's the depression drugs, SSRIs, Prozac, uh, Zoloft. Those actually help you last longer, but what? nausea, dry mouth, vomiting. And it's fucking with your brain loss chemicals. Loss of libido, depression. <laughs> yeah, exactly. fuck so that. I'd the side effects are quit. worse than the PE. Exactly. Straight up and down. Yeah. All right, 888 3345 888-742-3345. Is the, you need to come out with one for the tingly dick, too, man. Like, you just reverse engineer it, and it makes some shit that I can put on. So if you want a nut a little quicker. Dude, like, because I'm fucking with condoms, man. That shit. Oh, so you use condoms all the time. Oh, my God. It's so hard to come with a fucking condom. Well, you use this and a condom if you don't have PE. You might have to take a lunch break, go downstairs, eat, and come back and finish the job later. Yeah, no, seriously. Lately, I'll be like, let's. We will stop and have dinner and then go back. (laughs) I'm just like, all right, you want something to eat? Like this is taking forever. I wish, yo, know, I, I wish this came out when I was eighteen. I had to learn how to fuck off of D'Angelo because I was busting nuts yeah. quick too. But then you, you know, yeah, you just gotta. Well, it's a matter of whoop that ass into shape. That's exactly. Not only that, when you're eighteen and your first, you know, intimate the first couple of years, you don't really, you're not in touch with the ejaculatory response. You don't have as much control because it's foreign and it just feels so good. You just go, hey. We call this the machine gun theory, too, as opposed to the single bullet. What? When you're young, you can screw, you can fuck every 20 minutes, every half hour. You get to be in your 50s, you go, I got one, maybe got, two a night. You got one nut in you. That's exactly. You go, I got to do this right. right. Getting that so. missile out. You got one motherfucking <laughs> nut in you, boy. You got one nuclear warhead instead of a bunch of buckshot. Dude, I, I'm, my theory is mm-hmm. totally just, I'm guessing 
do people that are uncircumcised is a circumcised penis does it nut quicker than the fucking uncircumcised penis? well here's a really interesting thing and this has been very highly discussed in the urological community there are certain ethnicities that have a much higher incidence of PE who's busting nuts the quickest the Latino Hispanic community and the Indian community those are also the two communities what? that have a much higher incidence of people being uncircumcised ah. so there you How could you be on to something that they there. dicks about that <laughs> Look yeah, babies. Oh. Yeah, you don't you don't like looking at baby dicks here? Oh, I'm not looking at your dick. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Shout out to all my Indian and Hispanic cats out there busting nuts quick. Oh, who, who lasts the longest? I don't. I haven't seen that study, but I just know who from urology studies will tell us who you know traditionally the ethnicities that have the highest degree of PE. Mm. That come to get treated for They it. come to get treated for okay. it, yeah. And oh. even among our customer base, you notice, if you just look at the names, you'll see the names. And, a lot of Sanchez's and oh, shit. yeah. And you'll notice for what parts of the world we get a lot of, a lot of traffic. Yeah, exactly. Hello, a lot of sings. I need my cream. <laughs> That's pretty good, sir. That is? <laughs> I need my cream. Hello. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> And there's something we laugh at because we see the search words, you know, if you look at Google Analytics. And a lot of times, depending upon the parts of the country that maybe aren't as educated, it'll be like how to fuck longer. Anytime we get a search from shit. India, hypersensitivity of the penis. That's exactly what they, they type it, in. That shit, hyper hypersensitivity of the penis every single time. <gasps> it, without fail. Are you slanging it? Are, who's, who's buying the most right now? India is? Uh, we're not available in India, but oh. we have a lot of Indian... <laughs> Uh, people of ethnicity here in the states. What? Uh, we're very popular in Australia, very popular in Canada, and of course North America. Are Hello. Our markets. All right, let's do it. Uh, eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Uh, Jude, also we're gonna bring in yeah. a Haitian who needs the cream. Also. Oh, who kids? Yeah. Who kids here? Yeah. Eight forty five. We are back. Motherfucking, all you guys busting nuts mad quick and shit, call up right now, 888-742-3345. We got Jeff Abraham in the studio. Jeff ain't busting nuts fast, he doing his thing. <laughs> How long does it take you to come nowadays? With or without promessing? With, with, with I, you look like, look, you look like a guy with dick control, Jeff. You know, you got, you got, there's a confidence in your face that's like, hey, I can control my dick. Okay. I'd say between 15, 17 minutes without. And then, and then, and then with? 30, 35. I have to really concentrate. I have to really focus. You really got to do You that really got to like, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You Wait, really uh, got to fuck I'm coming! Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is gonna this is gonna work really well when I pair it with um because usually like when I do the crazy drugs, I gotta jerk off ahead of time and then do my drugs and then smash. But now I don't have to jerk off ahead of time. No, you just use this and that'll eliminate the need to um, take this care is of that. one this is one drug yeah. I do, like I just have them take the morning after pill because it feels like you're coming the whole time. You don't even know. Like it's oh, shit. Wow. Yeah, it's neat. Wow. It's really neat, Jeff. Can't, we might have to talk before I leave. I'm <laughs> can, you, uh, can you use Coke and the cream at the same time? Yeah, is that does it doesn't fuck with does it fuck with heart rate or Not anything at all. like that? Nothing. No, that's no issue whatsoever because they'll tell Ooh. you with Viagra cell Salvitra, be very careful. Oh my god. I did that shit with ecstasy one time when Ooh. I was getting a rub and tug in uh, Koreatown in New York. I yeah. thought I was gonna die on the table. Yeah, no. No, this has no side effects with that whatsoever. Let's go to the phone lines. We got uh, Mike in Sacramento. What's up, Mike? Yo, what's going on? Go ahead, man. Oh, all right. Quick question for you. All right, before, before this incident happened, I was tearing pussy up, right? What, I got, uh, what are you I was, talking about? Oh, I was in the Army, and I got blown uh -huh. up, and I got shrouded, I got shrouded through my hip and through my dick. But now, uh -huh. when I'm smashing now, well, you get a, maybe a good three minutes out of me. So I'm just trying to so see, he, you know, with this shit It help? sounds like you might have some hypersensitivity. You might have had some nerve damage with the shrapnel. This would be exactly what you need. This is this is type of stuff that will take that edge off and allow you to last much longer. That's what I need. So this, this would be something you would definitely, because it sounds like if you didn't have the problem before, and then you had, like you said, the shrapnel issue, and it went into that area, you could have some nerve damage. So that means you're hypersensitive. This is You're a prime candidate for promescent. Okay. Thank I you for serving do. our country. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Right now. 
Yes. <laughs> Every time you come quick, it was for our country. Just remember that <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. All right, man. Y'all niggas be easy, man. All right. Uh, Thanks for calling in. Hey, Let's go to coming. Sterling and Savannah. Sterling. Yo, what's up, G? What's up, Sierra? What up? Um, so my question is, like, with with uh, with my pers- permission, man, what what's out there basically for guys that uh, that like last too long? And like, I'm talking, I'm, this five and a half minute stuff is crazy to me because like, I feel like I'm dogging these chicks, you know, like breaking a sweat, and sometimes it'll mess with like, like it'll mess with uh, like my endurance, and then I'll get tired of shit. And like, you, we're talking like way into like 45 minutes, and it fucks with the girls like too because they're you know they're fine as hell. But are you but they, are you an expert on this shit? Like on. Uh how to nut quick or you just know how to not nut i know how to not nut i i've never really had anyone call up and go you're calling yeah. the wrong guy you're calling the wrong guy yeah sterling man you're, just, like, you're in just, such a minority i don't think anyone's really figured out how to address that since one out of every ten thousand people has have that her, issue have her throw a finger up your ass there buddy <laughs> have her massage your prostate yeah. that might help get that I shit in there, there buddy I there but i hear you there and but i mean who can why'd you call the there who buddy who can Okay, right. John in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was calling in to brag. I think he was calling in hoping his buddies were listening to say, yeah, that's my man. boy right there. Yeah, I get bad bitches. It takes me forever to come. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, Chicks if that was an like issue that. with me, I wouldn't be calling in here. I'd be bringing some more women in. Well, girls don't like the forever fucking no, guy that's, either. You have you know? to have that sweet spot where yeah, you get you to a certain no point. Get out. You're trying to pleasure him, not punish him. Yep. At a certain point, they're like tapping out, going mm-hmm. enough. John in Texas. Hey, what's up, Jude? It's here, man. Uh, Jude, I just bought your book a couple of days ago. Awesome book. I got two questions. Thanks. Okay, uh, I went to my doctor a while back, and he told me if you keep masturbating, and if it's like a habit forming where you want to just hurry up and bust a nut when you're masturbating, that goes into the bedroom, too, with the mind control. Is that true or not? Absolutely true. That's one of the theories when I told you that certain ethnicities had a pre, you know, disposition to... Be, uh, premature ejaculators. One of the theories is that both of those populations, Hispanic and Indian, generally come in their countries. They come from extended large families, sometimes multiple families in the same home. And from the man's early awakening into sexuality when he starts masturbating, he's got to get that he's get it off. If someone walks in, the walls are paper thin, a bunch of people. <laughs> and then when they start dating, instead of having access, go to a hotel, they have a car, their parents go to the market, they got to hurry up and knock it out before the parents come back. So they're really preconditioning themselves to prematurely ejaculate. So yes, if, if you have that tendency to begin with, even if you masturbate, take your time, relax, don't rush yourself because you'll train yourself to Light literally a candle, come too quick. Burn some incense, <laughs> yeah. run a bath, yeah, exactly. Spend some time with your dick, bro. Put a Romance little uh, Luther dick. Vandross or yeah. uh, Teddy Pendergrass on. Get that motherfucker, Teddy P. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Blow on your dick, homie, and just yeah. go for it, <laughs> yeah. my man. I'll think about like a video game I want to pass. Like I put it on pause and I jerk off. I'm thinking about like if I finish this part of Grand Theft Auto, and then I'm like, oh, shit, I passed it. I'm like, jerk off a nut. I think about video games. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um let's go to uh let's go to um it's a wild Mark in Wisconsin. Mark. Hey guys. You're on. You're on hey, with how Jeff. You doing today? Doc, Good, man. Is this some combination I can use with that lotion and, and rhythm to really get my lady off? What do you talk how how are you guys getting how are you guys getting through? How'd you get? Who talked to you, Mark? What, lotion or Dude, rhythm? I is there any drink. rhythm moves? Well, no, I'm. I think he's referring to our product rhythm. as lotion. Yeah. Oh. What do you? What? Oh, what? I don't I understand. What is better rhythms with my girl? If, 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 I've heard you're supposed to do a better, like fucking technique, and put the lotion on too. Well, the lotion will make you the the, the promescent spray will make you last longer. I don't know how much it'll do to your rhythm though. You got to develop that. With you got to get your own fucking rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jesus well, fucking if, Christ! If I put it on my, will she give me head and then the cream? Is it nasty? Yeah, can they taste it? Right. Can they taste it from it, head? It's here's a good the question, thing. sir. Most of the times, no. Thank Sometimes you. they'll say there's a slight antiseptic taste. Like Listerine kind of thing. Like so the dick not, tastes what? like Listerine. Exactly. But that's not always. It's about 10% of the time. It's Why really do it hypersensitive. Flavored? Why don't you flavor well, that actually, shit? something we're working on our next generation. But we tell people if you think you're going to get oral sex, put it on, 
you know, let it be on for eight minutes, ten minutes, and then wipe it with a damp cloth because all the active ingredients gone from the surface. How anyhow. long does that shit last for? But, can, I, can I wipe it? Can I do it before the, my date? Put yes. that shit on well, before no, the date. Well, no, you have to use it about eight to ten minutes prior to intercourse or or oral sex, whatever. Use it or lose it? Well, you don't lose it, but it has a diminished effect. So, okay. optimally, about eight to ten minutes. So, when you're starting to eat a little pussy, then you go, okay, I'm going to be down there, ready to roll in about you're eight like, to ten. Let me go wash my dick. Yeah. I'm going to wash this. I'm going to wash this funk off my dick. For yeah. right back, but I'll you really right in there putting but that's, shit on. If you're not having oral yeah. sex, there's no need to do anything. And even if you have oral sex, it's not like you need to, but if you just want that 100% certainty you haven't told your partner you're using it, you don't want, you know, then I would suggest the little damp wipe there. Let's go to Ron in motherfucking Dallas. Yo, what it do, fellas? What it do? What up, though? Hey, yo, this is my issue, man. I got this female that I used to just, oh, my God, get her off really, really good. Now she turns me on so much, man. I get in it, man, for about eight minutes. Then, pow, I'm out of the game. Then she's like, yo, come on, let's get it back. And I'm like... I'm 46 years old. Ain't no getting back. I'm finna go to sleep. So that's 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 the single bullet versus machine gun we we're talking about. This yeah. is another prime promescent. This is another prime pro. We tell people sometimes if you have you know 12 seconds, 15 seconds, you may need combination therapies. But someone that's going eight minutes wants to go 15, 20, 30 minutes. That's right in our sweet spot. That's a guy that absolutely benefits with this. How product. much? Yeah. How much extra? How many more minutes? Of sex does this add on? For it depends. Show? If you're lasting three, you're not going to go 30. Okay. But if you're lasting eight, you'll go 25, 30 minutes. You already have that control. So uh. it, it's, it's a function of how long you're lasting. It's, Can you use this to train your dick to the point where you don't need it anymore? I've had people say that once they learned how to control their ejaculation, once they had more control... No one's ever said I don't use it at all. They said I use a lot less of it, or I don't use it every single time. Says the sales yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. You still have to buy it, guys. Yeah, you still. <laughs> maybe not as much, maybe not as often, but you're never getting away. No, but I, I'm assuming there have been people that said, yeah. Now that I have more control of my ejaculatory response, I have a lot more of a sensitivity to it. Hey, who kid? You there? We got who kid yeah, in the yeah. studio with us. Okay. Who Kid fucks a lot of bad chicks. He is a Who Kid is a world famous DJ, and he he goes around and he plays EDM music mm -hmm. that's just awful to listen to, and mm -hmm. then he fucks Asian broads. Yep, that nothing is. wrong with that. Who Kid? How long does it take you for you to come? Uh, probably like I don't know, twenty minutes, twenty thirty There's minutes. No drugs, no nothing. That uh, like certainly that. should get the job done. Uh, the problem is, uh, because when you have a condom on, it just feels like there's nothing, because I fuck so much. Like you're fucking a couch. Yeah, that's how I feel, too. It's like you're just fucking a couch coach. I, I am not a condom guy at all. That's why, at my age, 57, I tend to be in long-term structure. No, no, no. I'm oh, you're single. just, you're just <laughs> fucking... Yeah, I'm single. Yeah, I've good. never been married. You got your shit snipped? Are you worried about I'm having snipped. kids? Oh, I'm oh. snipped. Yeah. So you're just coming in chicks. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. nothing. But I tend, at my age, to focus on more long-term relationships and uh you know committed <laughs> yeah. relationships so yeah yeah sure we, sure you do I'm yeah sure. yeah but with the, <laughs> just there's no condoms pump. involved i i tell people i don't take a shower with a raincoat on you know i'm just since i don't have to worry about the pregnancy aspect mm. you know we both generally get checked so i know that we're you know compatible clean and hell yeah and i'm not i'm like you guys i'm not into condoms at all i, just, I, <laughs> I mean like yeah we got to use them motherfuckers yeah. though you know what i mean Why? i might not be into them well, but they're like a necessary a, evil yeah you know, no if foreign you're a country and shit <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. who kid might come back with some brand gang green on that <laughs> that's exactly like isis on my dick or something yeah so <laughs> if you're if you're with people you don't know that much about you better be double wrapped <laughs> <laughs> double wrap actually causes more uh, broken condoms guys is that true? Yeah, because the friction of the rubber oh, against the rubber. Oh, that's probably true. The latex on latex. Yeah, bust that shit up. Yeah. So uh, uh, single is enough. One, one, like my cousin, uh, he, has a he has a premature ejaculation issue, but he said he got his girl pregnant because he was fucking his girl, and it was like a good six, seven minutes in, and he got so fucking horny, he came, but he was so embarrassed to pull out because it was too early, so he, he left his dick in there. And then she oh, got pregnant. Brother. So he, uh, what? Yeah, I mean, he was embarrassed. He, he was like trying to play that shit off and not yeah. fucking. That's crazy. So he just actually pretended like he never orgasmed and just kept grinding yeah, away. He kept He's young enough that he either that or he was on Viagra Cialis where he maintained his erection even mm -hmm. though he came. I mean, he said he eventually went down, but it just it was so quick that he just tried to stay as long as he could to avoid embarrassment. 
that he got. Well, yeah. then he got this baby. dumb bitch pregnant. Oh, it's ooh, serious. quick. Uh, the kid yeah. name is Marcus. Oh, Marcus. <laughs> How old's Marcus now? Uh, I think he's four now. But I know oh, he was. Em- but he, he said he said he was embarrassed. Like he did it so quick. You we know, have so. customer testimonials. We have people email yeah. us that will tell us. I literally became celibate. I was so embarrassed because uh. I I just didn't want to face disappointing anyone anymore. And I saw this. I tried it. Now I'm back in the game. If I put if I wear this enough, will it put some inches on my dick? Uh, I haven't noticed any additional <laughs> girth or length, and I, I've used it quite a bit. So I'd love to say yeah, but mm. honestly, no chance. That's oh, I got news for if it did. If it did, you'd see me with an IV bag hooked up right now. I'd be mainlining it. Is that so? Yeah. You. <laughs> I'd be drinking it. Instead of this Aquafina, whatever you gave me right here, I'd be sipping some Promescent right now. I know that's will, right. Will this product end embarrassment? Like the six-minute joints and people are just like too, too embarrassed to pull out? Is that such a thing that you're too embarrassed to pull out? Apparently, uh, according to Marcus, it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> according to little baby Marcus, it yeah. is such a thing. <laughs> I mean, you know, he, he wouldn't exist. You never did that route where it's like you think it's a little Yo, too quick and the chick wants you to keep going. And this then is what I she's did. She's not trying to hear it. Like, Back in the day, like I nutted real fast, um, but I tried to play it off. I was like, you know what? We shouldn't do this right now because your sister's in the room. But it was, I had, <laughs> I had can't. Like, I came mad quick. I was like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> You didn't know it up to it, though. You never told her, did Fuck you? Fuck no, no, but it's... she never let me fuck again, so yeah. there you go. Yeah. She knew. She knew. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Alex in Rhode Island. Alex. Yo, I got a question. If you put that shit on your dick, right, and you try to stick it in the girl's ass, are you going to get, like, is there any fucking, like, you know, side effects and shit if you try to do that shit to a girl up her ass with that shit on your dick? Yeah. How does it work with sodomy? Damn. Uh, I know people have used it, and, you know, it is a safe product. Now, are you referring to, will it do anything to you, or will it do anything to her? her? No, we're unaware of any side effects. What happens if you rub that shit, like, <laughs> what happens if you rub that shit on a girl's clit? Does it make it less sensitive? Have you... Oh, you haven't tried that we shit out yet. haven't tried it. But oh. you know, the funny part is, there are women that use this for Botox injections. They Whoa. use it for waxing. It has oh. the same effect. Where they just put, they apply it on they their apply shit. It, yeah, and women that get waxes and, and Juvederm, that's that shit in their lips, you know, to make yeah. their lips plumper, and Botox. This has applications where people use it for other things, and it has that same effect. What? Bong, yeah. bong. And we haven't promoted it. People just let us know they use it for that because they figure it out. They're like, wait, if it works for that, let me try it here. They're what? like, why don't you guys market it? I go, this is an $8 billion market that we're addressing. I don't need to be Get having you know, out of stuff off to the side. Yeah. What's the price point of a what? bottle of this? A, a, a trial size, which has 10 sprays in it, is $19.95. That's, large sprays, spray. right. That's not bad. That's not bad at all because no, if yeah. you're using it recreationally, it's like three fifty four dollars per each episode or encounter. Shit, a, a condom costs costs a dollar. That's yeah. exactly. And if you have PE, you use four or five sprays, so it's like 10 bucks. So, And the large bottle with 60 sprays is like uh, $79.95. But we have a lot of people that buy, we have three packs of big bottles, and it's 209 instead of like 80 a piece. So, you know, the more you buy, and we have people that buy this monthly, every month, they just bang. They're bang, running bang. through pussy like that. Oh, yeah. Dude, There's some people I'm like... <laughs> Man, that guy's getting some serious action. I envy some of our customers. I'm like, that guy is seriously like, you start calculating. I guess having sex like three times a day. Jeff, you're coming in your girls, bro, man. Like, don't feel, don't you be jealous. You get to fucking, you're fucking Yeah, but at my age, it's like three times a week. You'll be nothing. So your sperm don't know how to swim straight. They're just all confused when they're inside. Well, I think they've been uh, deactivated. They can swim and they get to the target, but they ain't got no, you know what I mean? They're does they're it, shooting blanks. Does that shit come out weird? Does it look like, is it milkier or something like that? Does it look like glue? I haven't really evaluated the consistency, oh but uh, when it you doesn't come? appear to be much different. I just, uh, <laughs> when you come, side of your girl. <laughs> you know, I don't funny. have a little it, camera it, down it, there, you it, know, it, like it's, evaluating. It's funny he brought that up because I got a white chick with no lips. Can can you help her with this with that issue? I could put that no on her lips. lip. Like you know how you know how the white people got this the slit. Mouth. It looks like a knife. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she can get Juvederm, and if you get yeah. Juvederm, which plumps up your lips, yeah. this will make it so it doesn't hurt. 
So if oh. she goes, oh, I don't want to get that, it hurts. You go, hey, I got something for you. She oh, just voila. Like, she just like dig though, man. Well, then what's a complaint? Uh, you just, I just don't like I the just, way it looks. I don't like her. Her lips look like somebody just sliced it with a knife. Like here's yeah. what here's what who kid did. This is a picture <laughs> oh of who gosh. kid when he came on that one girl's back. That's who kid's. That's who kid's ejaculate. Wow, <laughs> pretty neat. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> He's yeah. coming buckets, huh, Jeff? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks like oh, someone dropped a jar of mayonnaise on there. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> Hellman's. Now, is he the one? He's the one who likes the Asian women, right? Yeah, who kid likes Asian bras? Because I think I recognize that as an Asian behind. I yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's, yeah that, that's a small booty right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. Hell yeah. Yep. Whoa. It's got a little that hint olive of skin, ass. that nice little tone. Yeah. This, this was in Hong Kong, actually. Well, it, there's base, and there's like, it looks like there's a Chinese character tattoo. I was going to say, there is a little tad action there with a little Chinese character. But that's not limited to Chinese people these no. days. Yeah, was that Speed Racer? <laughs> <laughs> but the, the problem is, like, uh, I, I can't come with the condom. Like, I got to fuck, fuck, fuck. And then I got to make believe that. Heli barrier, somebody is in front of me. Then I take the condom off and I whack off and then I skeet on the booty. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like I have to like yes. whack off Splash. on the booty. Yes. So just to avoid STDs and sexual stuff, I got to do this. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, you're smart. You don't yeah. want to, you but, know. And I, it feels good with my hand too. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I was fucking right. her. She was, and she enjoyed it. I made sure she comes. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then I just whack off. So I got booty. this idea. Mm. Maybe you guys can do it. It's called the dick cork, right? Mm. And you just paint. Dude, just for, come on. I'm, yo, he's Where got. He's that? a money man. He, he's already dealing in dicks. I'm trying to get this <laughs> dick cork shit out. <laughs> what the hell? All right, dick cork is like this, right? You just get a little paintbrush. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jeff? Yeah. Follow me. You okay. get you a little paintbrush <laughs> and you dip it into a little jar of some shit. Yeah. And then you paint the top of your dick with like a liquid, liquid latex. And then that that's your condom. You just... It, it's like a cork for your dick, and that way you can fuck bras and not get, get them pregnant. Don't laugh. About a year ago, someone mentioned that to me. They go, wouldn't it be cool if you could have some liquid latex and put it over the tip of your dick? And I'm like, that would be brilliant. Because then you'd have the sensation everywhere else. Yeah. Just, yeah. That's because that, well, that's when you know the condom came off because that shit starts feeling awesome. Yeah. You're like, oh, this pussy feels so, so good. So good, almost. and you're like, uh-oh, wait a second. <laughs> dick cork, bro. Like, I don't even want no money. You know, I just want to be able to use this shit. Yeah. But think of the liability. Just if it didn't seal right, you know, and you put it on, the next thing you know, it's like not there. <laughs> this is. You, that's why I'm having you invent this yeah. shit. I don't want to fucking deal with it. <laughs> Let's go to Jake in Virginia. Go ahead, Jake. Jake. Hey, Jude. What's going on, man? What up, though, man? You you, you you got Jeff here. Yeah, man. What's, what's up, up Jack? Jake? Hey, man, listen. Uh, what's man, up, Jack? Since, I was, since the first time I never had sex, I've been a two-minute guy, man. I be in and there and then blah. You know, I'm all over the place. <laughs> yeah, blah. You know? So, oh, yeah. you know, I, I'm trying to figure that shit out, man. I mean, but here's the thing. I bust off quick, but I don't go down. So I, like, that's how I used to cover up some shit. <laughs> so you, you just keep going. Yeah, I just keep going and shit. But the how fact many is, kids do you have? <laughs> I only got Probably one. quite a few. Oh, that's not okay. Bad. Yeah, but wouldn't you enjoy it better if you didn't bust and you keep going? Because yeah, then you I'm have a more intense that's orgasm. You know? Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to. Yeah, because at that point you're basically taking a spin class or doing aerobics or something because you already got your nut and you're just over there trying to satisfy her, sweating uh, oh, your ass yeah, off. Man. You're going, there ain't nothing yeah. left for me in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already forgot it and don't even want to fuck no more, but, you know, I'm sucking it up. That's it. You're taking one for the inside. team. You're, you're <laughs> taking one for the missus there, you know? Or the... <laughs> so what you need to do is you need to try some promescent because it'll give you the ability mm. to last 12, 15, 18 minutes. So when you're done the first time, it'll be a better finish and a better climax, and you'll be building up to it, not feeling like you're doing work. Mm. Hey, man, I'm 45, so I'm, I'm trying to last like that anyway, so shit. That's, cool. that's for sure. Now, where do you live? <laughs> huh? I'm in you live in Virginia Beach? No. Nah. No, nah, I'm in uh, Alexandria. I'm in Northern Virginia. Mm. Northern Virginia. We yeah. have... They got the sweetest pussy up there, Jake. Really? Oh, that sweet yeah. The whole DMV, Ex man. Sweet pussies everywhere. I okay, I was going to say. There's feel, certain areas, but itself. I never heard Alexandria mentioned in, you the know. smaller the titties, the sweeter the pussy. Is that what you really? I'm just, I'm just talking <laughs> shit. Okay, <laughs> all right. I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Right we now. have a lot of pharmacies in that area because we have a huge <laughs> urological group that Yo, sponsors do, us. Dude, 
do you need to have a fucking um do I gotta have a little doctor's note for this? No, this, this is buy an over the counter drug, if wow. you can believe that. Really? So you can go in and get it without a what? prescription. How awesome is that? Get that. Get your spray on. <laughs> you can get it online. You can get it in urologist's office. You can get it in certain independent pharmacies. Sarah, you should try this shit. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to try it, and then I'm going to try it on a dog, too. Be a fucking dog? Hard. No, I want to see a dog's dick get hard off. Are <laughs> oh, you going to get a dog's dick hard? Like, like you know, a lot of dogs on another dog. Yeah. You're going to get your dog hard and then spray this on him? And then, then like, Are you going to have a female dog, dog there for him? To... Right, and, and then see how long it will last. Mouth. Clinical tests, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yo, so, shit. um... Hello. <laughs> you, this, this shit, this, this, does it matter if your penis is hard or soft when you spray it? You on? can put it on flaccid. You can put it on already erect. No effect whatsoever. Okay. Hey, today, seven forty three. What's the average uh, sex time? Like 20 minutes? Yeah. What, what do women want? 15, 20 20 minutes? minutes? Well, there was a survey, and it's mm -hmm. funny because most guys, if they ask them what will make better sex, guys always go bigger dick. Women go increased intimacy time. They want more duration. They want like The average, like I said, the average like, man yeah. lasts five and a half minutes. The average woman takes 19. Y'all weak, motherfuckers. Y'all weak. That's right. <laughs> weak fuck boys. So there's a lot of times, and here's a true story. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday, I go to this party, and one of my neighbors comes over, and he's like, what do you do for a living? I go, I'm the CEO of a pharmaceutical company. What's your company? Absorption Pharmaceuticals. What product? I go, Promescent. And he goes, spell it. I go, P-R-O-M-E-S-C-E-N-T. This guy's got a lot of fucking questions. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, he and he's like, what is your product? I, I don't understand it. I go, well, it's a drug for P-E. And I go, but it's used recreationally. He sticks out his chest. He's like, well, we don't need that. And he's his wife or standing. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Ten minutes later, his wife comes over and goes, you got a sample of that? We need that. <laughs> I go, what? It's a running joke in our company. How many times you'll be in front of a couple, they'll ask you what you do, and you tell them, and the guy goes, oh, that's not a problem in our relationship. The woman comes over later and goes, give us a sample. We're trying that. That's You know what? I want to talk to women now. 8 today, 7 4 2 3 3 4 5 How many ladies have, uh, are dealing with fucking fellas that come fast, and how are you dealing with it? A to day seven four two three three four five. That's what we, we we should give out. Yeah. Some. Do you have anything to give out to anybody or did, uh, no? Yeah, no. Yeah, absolutely. I right, maybe we can give some to the ladies. Uh, you, know I mean? you get some ladies on here. We'll take their information. I'll send them product right off. Because I, I was thinking about that. Like when I was twenty and shit. Yeah. Like I really thought I knew what I was doing. When mm. I was you fucking, look back on it now. You're like, are you kidding me? Yeah, I was awful. Yeah, I was really awful. bad at sex. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I just really <laughs> thought I knew. You could not tell me shit. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure there's uh, there's a lot of women in relationships with men that you can't like you can't tell them they're not good at this shit. Do you know how many women contact us and go, "We need this. How can I bring it up? I don't want to hurt his feelings." You know how what do I tell you bring women? It up? Here's what I tell women right now: If you want intimacy, you want to incorporate this in your relationship. Don't go, "Hey, we need this because you're coming too quick." Then that makes the guy even more paranoid and more right, defensive. Right. What you do is say, "You know, I, our love life is awesome. You know, we're really great. Let's have a special like." you know, theme night. I'm going to get a blindfold. I'm going to get a feather duster, you know, like a little whip. And, and I'm going to put a strap on. A strap on. Fuck gonna, you with a strap yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, bend over, boy. Yeah. Park at the moon. Damn. But we're going to make it this <laughs> special night. And incorporate that with a couple other things. That way you're not pointing to this issue and saying, hey, you're not lasting long enough. So instead of saying you're deficient, go, you're good. Let's get great. You're great. Let's go turbo. You're turbo. Let's go supersonic. There so it it's all in the packaging. It's all, all right, in how so you bring I'm, it I'm up. a woman. I'm talking to my man. You can tell. <laughs> your dick, your dick is mad. You come too fast. <laughs> Who is that man? Inside of my pussy. <laughs> and the guy right away gets defensive. Yeah, okay, I'll try a different way. Yeah. I sure do. Hello, damn. I'm a pretty <laughs> is that little Sam? lady. I sure do want to fuck you a little bit longer. <laughs> Who is that? If you just put your muscly wussly inside of my vaginal <laughs> wagula. <laughs> wussly? <laughs> Is that how? You, is that better? That's better. Thank you. Who the fuck? I wish people had the visual oh, looking at you man. saying that that I have right now. Though it's freaking hilarious. So I shall do wish I, that, that that you could just thrust inside of my vagina for a little bit longer. Oh. I think we're helping people. I think we're helping people. Let's go to. Amy. We're changing lives. You want to try that? Who kid? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It feels really weird. Uh, <laughs> Let's go to Amy what? in Illinois. Amy. Yes, sir. What's happening? Go ahead. You You're on. Tell us, tell us your experience. Uh, okay, so I am in my 40s, and I've been married to a man for a long time. 
Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, you know a man, they deny that there's a problem. Yes. And uh, doesn't want to put the time in like he used to, and I'm a little hard to please. Yeah. And up until a couple of years ago, I mean, he'd take the time to do what needed to be done to make it happen. And he doesn't believe in the pills because he's worried about the side effects. That, mm. I don't know, balls will shrink and the dick will fall off, something like that. And so it's gotten to the point where, you know, I'm lucky to get sex once a month, which, okay, that sucks. And when we do, it's short and sweet and all about him. And I'm like, I'm not 14 anymore. I'm past this shit. How long does you it know? take you to come, just out of curiosity? <laughs> uh, well, together, probably 15 minutes. Uh, by myself. Oh, not bad. Yeah. Oh. Well, he's That's not girl. bad. And he's not, he's not lasting 15 minutes, is he? He used to. I mean, he used to be a Was he last But now? Now. Was now. he last now? Yeah. He's just, no, Was he last now? Bob and Brian. No, uh-uh. How much? Yeah, what? Not even, he's not even bothered trying. Seven, eight minutes, and he comes, and it's done. Damn. See, that's exactly See? one of the issues is you're not having sex frequently enough. So, you know, he's <laughs> maybe your pussy yeah. smells like a can of spam. He doesn't <laughs> want to pee down there that long. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that, yeah, I think this would be something you could definitely benefit from. And if they can take your name and number, I'd be very happy to send oh. you a product. Well, she hung up for some oh, reason. Okay. I don't know why. Uh, let's go to Kentucky and talk to an anonymous woman. <laughs> anonymous, okay. Hello? Yeah. Hello? I'm still here. Yeah, go ahead. What? How long does your man last? Uh, I mean, I've been dealing with this for the last probably 20 years of my life. Damn, for every man what? that I've been with, it, it probably lasts. Torture. A you got the bomb ass that. pussy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know. If this must be some fine or... stuff we get on the phone right here. Your Maybe. pussy must feel like rose petals, yeah. unicorn, <laughs> like liquid vagina. Like, yeah, you like hop fucking... on that and starts playing the Star Spangled Banner. You yeah, just no. can't help it. You know, it's, <laughs> it's like <laughs> sweet. I mean, I'm serious. I've been married, you know, almost 15 years ago, and the same with him. And I saw him. For how long does he years. last? How long does I mean, he? How, how long I'm dead the... serious. Probably total 40 seconds. Damn, you got that what? suede in there. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've been told, but, you know, I just it's kind of getting old, though, you know? Yeah, it's got to be. So, yeah, maybe you need to just keep that on. Like, maybe you yeah. maybe you can you just be like, my pussy feel like a baby seal's mouth. <laughs> so you're going to have to spray this on you. I think you better keep a bottle of this by your bedside or maybe have a, a attached to the belt on your jeans. You just Yo, are you allowed to sneak that on a motherfucker or is that like against the law? Like, I'm not allowed to, like, sneak a fucking morning after pill in a girl's smoothie. Is she allowed to, like, hold on, let me rub your dick and, like, rub it into the dick without telling somebody? I have never heard of that. But, I mean, if, if I was this woman, he was lasting 40 seconds, I might be thinking about it. If he wouldn't do it willingly, I might be thinking when he's asleep rubbing it on there, waking him up and hopping on. Ooh. Let's go to Stacey I mean, in Tennessee. You know- Oh, Wait, I hung up on her again. Oh. I just keep hanging up on people. Cause, <laughs> hey, they get the question out. They better get the whole thing out right away. Yeah. Uh, You're Stacey. training them. Stacy? Yes. Hi. Stacy. Uh, um, so, um, I was calling in because my husband, he, he normally only lasts like about three, maybe five minutes max or so. And so, mm, you know, we, we talked about Seriously? it. Seriously? Yeah, well, Did I tell you guys this problem is more on. prevalent than we thought? Three Yo, minutes. The phone lines are blown up. I, I told you. That's I, you okay, know, go I'm, ahead. I'm like 30-ish. And so I, I started telling him, you know, I really would like for it to last longer. So he bought like these condoms that are supposed to make you last longer or something. But he told me, I was like, well, what does it make you feel like? He's like, well, it just makes my dick numb. Uh, like completely, like I can't feel anything. So it's either like two or three minutes, or like fucking, like he doesn't get off and we let go for forty five minutes an hour or something. Stacy, what are you doing? What are you doing when when he comes fast? <laughs> what do you do? Pat him on the back, like there. there um, it's okay. well, well, what I always make it. He, he goes down on me all the time first. I mean, I have to. I mean, I don't have sex with him unless he goes down on me. So well, he comes. <laughs> he comes on you. That's a requirement. <laughs> You yeah, like yeah. I don't good sex with him unless he goes down on me. <laughs> no, I mean, well, I mean, I have to get mine, right? So that's it. So you know, one of the reasons you're doing that is because you know you're not going to get yours during intercourse if he's mm-hmm. not lasting long enough. So I think that's only fair. fair but, I mean, is fair. fair is fair. Yeah, come for is come. There a, a difference <laughs> in these like condom things? Are they going to? Yeah, well, like, like I was explaining really earlier, but I, I I went too scientific about the absorption molecule. I told molecule. you, you got to know your fucking audience. That's bro. right. I got to know my audience. I have a better handle on it now. Yeah. This does not numb you. This will. He'll still feel. 
a tremendous sensation amount of pleasure. It'll just make him last longer. You need to get some promescent. This, okay. the, you're a prime candidate. We're gonna for this. put you on hold. Yeah. Hold on, Stacey. We'll get your info. We're gonna put in your Let's go to Roxanne in Kansas City. Roxanne. See the women are lighting the lines up. Three minutes, though, man. That's real? Three minutes? Guys. That's real. There's a tremendous amount of people in that scenario. Three minutes is like, shh, come on. Well, look, one out of uh, one out of four dudes suffers from that in yeah. the studio right now. <laughs> Hi! And I know it ain't the two of us here. <laughs> no. <Nope>. It's Seer! <laughs> and you know it's not who, kid. It probably took three minutes for that whole thing to happen that there. that whole load that he landed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, yeah. that alone, I mean, took... You know, and I, I had the white no wolf. homo, but you come like a champ, bro. Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, that vanilla pudding on that ass. Like, yeah, it's like a gallon of milk right there, man. Hey, bro, no homo, but you come buckets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, pro homo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, damn, man. I mean, uh, isn't it having like, like getting head part of the sexual shit too? Like you gotta yeah. get head and then fuck and yeah. Then, it's like wow, like three minutes is quick. I would be embarrassed. Let's go to Roxanne in Kansas City. Hey, Roxanne. Oh, hey, myself. how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Hey. Um, <laughs> you sound like you got some good pussy. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. Roxanne, I know I do. Some good but, shit. What the fuck in your mouth? So wait. Hey, you must have talked to me, bro. <laughs> uh, Roxanne. Okay, so my question is... Shut the is, fuck well, up. I'm still talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't know about other women, but with me, of course, I, I, I can either come with, um, you know with a man going down or with intercourse but with mm -hmm. intercourse it takes longer and it takes a lot of you know it takes some time into it mm. but that one feels so much better so yeah my man is he's starting to come in five to six minutes now so wow <laughs> he comes in but here's the crazy thing Shit. that's the average wow. time that's not the your average man, man. Average. your man is average so you get no, with above that's... average man <laughs> yeah. average Mr. Bitch pink man. dick angelina you need to fuck with me girl <laughs> need to fuck. With, need to fuck with fat mini dicks here. <laughs> like I said, the Aww. average man lasts five minutes and forty, and the average woman takes nineteen. So this is common. This is not oh. uncommon. Oh, All right, man. so well, we're gonna we're gonna put you on hold, and, and we're gonna you get your information. Bottle. We're gonna send you a little promescent for your okay, man. Okay, for your man. You. Now how you gonna now how you gonna broach that subject with him? I'm I'm your man. What's uh, uh, my name's gonna be Tony? All right. <laughs> Okay. Tell Tony, Tony. tell right. Tony how you're going to incorporate man. this. <laughs> Roxanne, right. I just, hey, girl, I just fucked the shit out of you for six whole minutes, bitch. <laughs> Stupid stink, bitch. Make me a motherfucking sandwich. Yeah. Man, with your okay. sweet little pussy. <laughs> <laughs> your black, dirty nipples. <laughs> yeah. Tony, Tony, honey, listen, baby. If you want us to remain together, I need you to take this shit, or you would never taste this pussy again. See ya. Damn, she put See down ya. like she. <laughs> wow, <laughs> bitch, baby, Bro, you sound like right up. You sound like we don't negotiate with terrorists. Yeah, like, that's exactly. What kind of buttering up is this? Yeah, it's that ISIS pussy. That's a woman in control. She make a motherfucker yes. want to tuck his dick between his legs. <laughs> Silence of the lambs. If you ever want to taste this sweet <laughs> pussy, you better. You might want to get a different approach with this. Why, why don't you be like, hey, babe, I I got this new new thing we should try out just for fun or mm. some shit like that. Say, hey, okay. I saw this advertised. Yeah, I got a free sample. Yeah, I got a free sample at the mall. Yeah, they were giving it out for free. <laughs> Not that All you right. need it. And as good as our love life is, we can take it to the next level. Woo! Yeah. I want to last that, two Isley I can Brothers I can make you a mini who kid, okay? I can, I can turn wow. you into, you know. <laughs> uh, the okay, please send me some. I'll try it. Mm. All right, thank you. Please. It's really fucked up, man. Like, it is crazy how many, the phone lines are full. Like, every, there's so many women who's, who's men. What come. did I tell you? So, so, you, so I want to... I'm sorry. This product is going to help these girls out here. Like they're going to mentally. Yeah, ment I mean, not them. They're, they'll give it to their man. Oh wow! You don't know how many men out there right now thinking, "Oh, I take care of business, my woman," and their woman's like, oh, "Shit, I wish this stuff lasted longer," you know. Mm -hmm. But they don't want to bring it up. But they hear this and they're like, "Hey, I'm incorporating this into the relationship." So, men, you may think that you are just taking care of business and really, really nailing it. But if you want to go to the next level, try it out. All right. This is, let's, uh, where can they go? I can't go. Promescent.com. P-R-O-M-E-S-C-E-N-T. Promescent.com. And you go on there, if you want a pharmacy, you type in your 
zip code, and it'll show you the closest pharmacies. I want the spray. Bam. I want the spray. You want the spray? <laughs> yeah. How about when they forward those other numbers forward your I'll send it I'll send some samples along. <laughs> yes. Get my fucking you, on. Nigga. Yeah. Got yeah, hermaphrodite yeah. on Twitter and want to know if he can use it. A hermaphrodite? What? There's like like it's got both? Mm. Mm-hmm. What is that? Is that the one that's go went through the change or has both? What is that? What the fuck? I think they got Thank like you. a dick and a pussy, right? Do they satisfy themselves? <laughs> Are they that close I think he fucks himself for five minutes. Yo, Jeff, if you had a pussy, would you finger yourself, bro? <laughs> yeah, probably about 23 hours a day. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Delia in Pe- Pennsylvania. Hey, dude. Hey, Spear. How What's are up, you guys? Nigga? How you doing? I'm doing <laughs> well. This subject uh, captured my attention today. Oh, shit. Is that so? Why is that? Yes, it is. I don't know what it is, but while I'm fucking, I just love to talk nasty. Like, mm, the filth comes out, oh my gosh, <laughs> whatever I need to. Yeah. But, let's do a role play. You know, let's do a role play. Yeah. Let's do it. Do you? Go let's for it. Play. Right, Go fuck for it. it. Dude, Ooh, who you gonna be? so good. My yeah, name is Tony again. <laughs> Tony. Hey, like, why you gotta pussy. sound like that, dude? <laughs> Your voice is. is already sexy. Don't be I'm trying to fuck sexy. it all up. You're like, fucking I'm up a, the moment. Hey now, Freddy Krueger over here. Pussy like a box of crackers. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is nasty? <laughs> it's delicious. Now right. talk nasty. dirty to me. All right, uh, <laughs> come on. What about me? <laughs> go ahead, right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Someone, yeah. I want to hear her. So someone, I know, right? My name Dad. Hey, hey, hi, this is Daryl. What's up? I want to grab your Darryl. titties and fuck you right in your mouth. I think you look good, baby. What you gonna do to me, nigga? <laughs> Radio personality over here. Oh, I am gonna ride your face, boy. Oh. I'm gonna make it rain all over your face. Oh, Get your dick fucking hard, and then I'm gonna jump on it. Ooh, you gonna break my dick, little nigga? <laughs> Round and around and around, right when I come in Round and around, I'm gonna stir that pussy up. God damn! Wow! <laughs> Pull your head, and break your back. <laughs> what the hell? This is great, but Sir eats everything but pussy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks, June. You're right. Come on, Sierra. Yeah. You're Puerto Rican. They love to eat that pussy. Well, what a Big Mac on it. I'll probably eat that shit. <laughs> <laughs> French fries, I get a lot. Oh, hell no. So, Dylan, what's, oh, what's, 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 what are you going through with your man? He just comes too fast. Every time I start to talk nasty, he fucking busts. And, oh, I mean, you shut the fuck I up. Yeah. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. Because Put a gag or a muscle on her. <laughs> that's it. And the only way I can get myself off is with the pillow. Oh, with the no. pillow? What do you do with the pillow? <laughs> what? Fucking talk nasty to the pillow, and I just fucking oh. rub that shit on my pussy until I come. Not sleeping over your house. Damn. That pillow's like shit. Yo, you got a pillow? Shit, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That sounds awesome. Hey, all you, her, you, all you her pillows the... smell like mangoes. <laughs> Get her number or her address. We'll, we'll send her a I'm sample tired. as well. <laughs> wow. She's tired I, of the pillow. We'll send her a sample, but I want one of those pillow cases. I'm tired. I need something. <laughs> All right, you got to trade. Jeff, Jeff, said, Jeff said he's We'll send you a sample for one of your pillow cases. That's right. Ooh, <laughs> I'll send him a satin one. Yo. He about to beat your ass. Hey, yo. Yeah, right. that's a we'll funny we'll put you on hope. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Jeff, I want to thank you for coming by, man. And My pleasure. Chopping it up with us. My Thanks, pleasure. Sir. Anytime. Tell everyone where they can go. You go to Promescent, P-R-O-M-E-S-C-E-N-T, Promescent.com. It will also, you put in your zip code. It'll show you what pharmacies carry it. There's a lot of urologists. You go to urologists. They're all very aware of this product. There's no embarrassment. This is not just a PE product. This is a lifestyle product. If you want better intimacy, it's a great product. 
I'm going to start using this with my drug sex. Let me know. I yeah, gave I'm you my serious. card. I really I'm want serious. you to let me know. I'm dead ass. I'm going yeah. to pair it with my drug sex. Yeah, I yeah, know. Absolutely. You got any hookups in Mexico? Because I could use some drugs, too. <laughs> Jeff? A little talk off air. All right. <laughs> Here's a little song for you, Jeff, since you got your shit snipped and... Um, and doing the this damn thing. Yeah. yeah. He comes in the bitches. In the pussy hole. Only you guys will have this record. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shave 45, let's go. Oh, two, I, I see. It's, it's, uh, it took an honorable mention at Slam Dance. And uh, people want to see the, if people want to see the teaser for it, they can go to dolphinlovermovie.com. All right, so uh, it was it's a female dolphin, I'm guessing, because it was, you said goddess in the title, right? Yes, that's right. It was a female dolphin. So how did you meet the dolphin? Yeah, what you saying? How did I meet the dolphin? I was a student at New College of Florida, which is in Sarasota, and I got asked by a local writer to uh, go down to this amusement park that was south of town and take some photos for a book she wanted to write about these dolphins. And uh, the first time I met the dolphin, there was, like, nothing. I thought, oh, this is interesting. I'm meeting a dolphin. Uh, she, was a, she was an unusual dolphin because she went out in open water, and she performed in the, uh, in the Gulf of Mexico with a riverboat. And she always came back. And uh, I wondered why she came back, why she didn't just swim away. You had your dick why out or something? Huh? You had your dick out? What she was doing? No. Uh. This is pre. This is pre penis. This is just. Oh. It, so the dolphin clearly liked to be around humans. Yes, the dolphin did like to be around humans. Oh. Uh, All right. So when when did you first start noticing the dolphin? Like. Well. The first time that things really uh, that really struck me that the dolphin had a mind of her own, I asked uh, my girlfriend if she wanted to go swimming with the dolphin, and she said yes. This was young lady. I was trying to get her to be my girlfriend. Actually, I was trying to impress her. And instead, so what happened like, was, hmm? so you're trying to impress your girlfriend, this young lady, and you go right. swimming with a dolphin, and then like the dolphin cock blocks the lady. Is that what happens? Mm. The dolphin the dolphin beat her up and threw her out of the water. Okay. <laughs> hey. Needless to say, needless to say, that relationship did not get very far. No, nah. no, you took her. You you took her and got her ass whooped by a dolphin. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. All right, so then, so what? Then you're hanging out. You start hanging out with the dolphin. I was going down there a lot. I found her uh, just fascinating, but I was not orig originally. I was not sexually attracted to her. The dolphin when did you began, what, when, when did, did you I, become when, sexually? Yeah, it, it happened over a period of months because the dolphin began courting me. After what did she do to my court girlfriend you? Out of the, hmm? How did she court me? Dolphins yeah. are very sexual animals. Uh, she would rub her, her vulva against me. <laughs> where's uh, the? I, I'm I'm the stupid. Is where is the Where is the dolphin vagina located yeah. at? Is it on its, it's back located, or some shit? Or, or on the no, body? it's located on their underside, about two thirds of the way down the body. Okay, so it would like kind of turn over and just like rub its rub its uh, pussy on you, if you will. Uh, China. Dolphin. That was that was one of the things she did. Yeah. Uh, I know. What is what does the dolphin pussy smell like? Right. What is that like? Right. Uh, it doesn't smell like much of anything. Dolphins don't have underwater. a smell themselves. Right. That's no true. shit. Yeah. Um, okay. But uh, what happened was. Um, she began to get very um, upset with me if I wouldn't let her masturbate by rubbing on me. One time, uh, she threw herself on top of me and pushed me down to the bottom of the pool when I wouldn't let her do that. That so, was like both feet deep. She so was very, she kind of uh, was like she kind of was like uh, molesting you. If I had wanted to take it that way, I could have, but I right. I, I didn't uh, because I am. Uh, ever since my childhood, I, I don't know why, but I've been sexually attracted to animals. What other animals are you sexually attracted to? Hmm. Uh, dolphins and dogs, apparently. Dogs? So you you've slept with a you had 
you had slept with a dog before you slept with a dolphin? When I was a teenager, I had some sexual experiences with the family dogs, yeah. What would you do? Like put the peanut butter on your penis or some shit? No, man. No, nothing like that. Oh, uh, I, you, I oh th th that bummed you out? Like, what are you, like, I didn't, I thought that's what, what happens. What, like, what would you do with the dog? I tried to have sex with a, with a bitch one time. How'd that go? Didn't work out. She wasn't into it. She wasn't, well, that, look, hey, bro, I'm not here to judge. I think, like, if a motherfucker's going to eat an animal, they might as well fuck an animal, you know what I mean? <laughs> if they're into it, you know what I mean? Like, the lesser of two evils. I agree with you. Uh, if someone was like, I can eat you or fuck you, I'd probably go with the fucking. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. so, but the dog wasn't into it, and you're not a rapist, so that was No, it I'm not. You. No, that was right. good for me. So, so the, you think the, the dolphin, dolphin could was... tell that, do you think the dolphin could tell that you, uh, like, had a little thing for animals? <clears throat> I don't know if she could or not. Um, but, uh, over time... Uh, she began to uh, she began to grow on me, you know. At first, I was pushing her away and saying, "No, I don't want this," because uh, I'd had the experience with a dog, and I didn't want to. I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't want to think of myself as a zoophile, as a person who's sexually attracted to animals. Um, That's why I was trying to get the thing going with the girl. You didn't want the dolphin but, to give you head or anything, or the dolphin suck your dick with all those with all those teeth in her mouth, man. No, that's not the way dolphins do it. What she would do is she would open her jaws, and she would run her teeth very gently up and down my arms and legs. And that, to me, was very erotic. What was the first time having sex? What does dolphin pussy feel like? Is it hotter, or what's, what's the temp like compared to human pussy? Well, there's a lot of seawater in there, uh, yeah. and it feels different. Um, it doesn't feel as soft and as yielding as, uh, as a woman's vagina does. Mm. Dolphins are kind of tougher, and uh, they have some some waterproofing features down in there too that make it a little difficult to uh, to really get very deep inside of them. Uh, you can't. Squirt. I don't even like banging chicks in the motherfucking ocean. Like I don't know how you did it, man. Like because it takes all the natural juices out of the vagina. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, the salt water does. Um, all I can tell you is that uh, it works, and we did it. Did you finish inside of the dolphin? Yeah. Yeah. No Ooh. shit. How many times did, did was this a regular occurrence, and what would it be? Well, you would come out there. No, this, like, this this just happened once. It happened when the park was closing down. the uh, The amusement park had been sold for a development, and oh, so uh, there was nobody nobody around. Yeah. So what happened to the, the dolphin? dolphin? It was just That's you and the dolphin. Bad. Sorry, sorry. I, Keep I going. Wish, it was just you and the dolphin. Yeah. It was just me and the dolphin and a male dolphin in the park at the end, and she had to actually evade the male dolphin. She had to swim over into another pen where he couldn't get to her. Mm. Uh, cause he was he was trying to keep me away from her, or keep her away from me. Yeah. Uh, what happened to the dolphin in the end was very sad. The park was sold. She was sold. Then the male dolphin was sold with her to a place in Mississippi. And she'd been there for about nine months, and uh, she, uh, she was removed from uh, him, his company. She was removed from my company because I was out in Washington State going to college out there for a year. Right, right. And uh, her trainer told me that he came out one morning and just found her dead on the bottom of the pool. Now, dolphins, when dolphins breathe, it's voluntary. They, so if they want to die, they just stop. They just hold their breath and they go unconscious. Do you think That's that? What I think do, happened you, to her. do you think she was depressed because she couldn't fuck with you no more? Uh -huh. Not only me, but she couldn't. Uh, have her male dolphin oh. friend, and she was put in a very small uh, tank. And that's very depressing for a dolphin. These are things that can swim 50 miles a day, you know. Right, right. They don't, no, just... they don't get the exercise and the kind of stimulation that they need in a tank. Let me ask you and, something. Uh, was, yeah, sure. Uh, this, is a, uh, uh, this is from uh, Chris Delia. Um, I always say his name fucked up. Yeah, would you... Would you uh, have been jealous had the dolphin started courting another person? Huh. Uh, I don't know. It's a difficult question to answer. Um, the dolphin, from what I could gather, the dolphin, um, would, you know, made advances towards a lot of people. But I was the only one that seemed to, uh, seemed to reciprocate. 
So is a horny dolphin. Like the dolphin all is dolphins. kind of a slut. All dolphins are horny. All dolphins are horny. Ah, yeah. Yes. Yes. No shit. They have they have sex like crazy, man. Was the male dolphin getting any pussy, or was he just was it just you? <laughs> I don't know. You'd have to ask him. People think a lot of people think you're uh, yeah. s sick for this. What do you, what do you say to that? I said I was in love with somebody who was from a different species, and uh, I don't I don't think there's anything sick about that. Uh, I I know that when I found out the dolphin uh, had died, that I went into a depression that lasted for years, and uh, you know my feelings for her were very sincere and genuine. I looked forward to seeing her again when when I got out of college, and uh, you know could get back to uh, could get back to the south. But uh, it didn't happen. People want to talk to you. Uh, would you like to take some calls? Sure, let's take some calls. All right, this is what we're going to do. Give us a, give us one second. 888-742-3345. We're going to play a song, and we're going to come back. Uh, we're going to come back uh, with uh, Malcolm Brenner. He is he's in a documentary called Dolphin Lover, and it's about your relationship with the dolphin back in the 70s. Right. Do you do you think how come you haven't like uh you just like the dolphin, huh? Like the dolphin pussy wasn't even that good, you know what I mean? Like you only the dolphin once. pussy was the dolphin pussy was sensational, man. How come you only banged once if the dolphin pussy was bomb? I only got the chance once. No shit. There was always people watching. Yeah, usually something like that. Did you feel like kind of like, did you feel like a shoplifter or some shit like that? You know, like you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing, like this forbidden love. And pe did, did anybody know? No, nobody knew at the time. And no, I didn't feel like a shoplifter. Uh, I felt like somebody who was in love. All right. 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. Well, we have Malcolm Brenner here. He is the subject of a documentary called Dolphin Lover. And it document it's it's about your love affair that you had with a dolphin back in the seventies. Right. It's been forty years. Have you had any more relationships with any other animals since then? Yeah, I have, but I'd rather focus on dolphins because that's what the uh, documentary is about, and that's just come out and it's gaining a lot of uh, press right now. Yeah. Um, is dolphin your preference for animal, or is there? Uh, and if so, how come? Well, the dolphin is, this is what I'm trying to get across to some people. The dolphin is somebody I fell in love with, okay? Okay. Uh, dolphins are intelligent. Uh, they're self-aware. Uh, they're more like people than you can imagine. And uh, uh, I'm not attracted indiscriminately, you know, to, to people or animals. And I also want to mention something. I've been married twice, and I've got a grown daughter by my first, by my first marriage. So, uh... I'm not exclusively a zoophile. You're not. You're not only animals. You just. You don't want to limit yourself to just humans. Well, let's just say that when I was younger, maybe I had some difficulty with my social skills. Okay. So this was. E it was easier for you to kick it with a fucking dolphin than like have to deal with a chick. <laughs> Actually, the sense. dolphin turned out. The dolphin turned out to be much more physical than any chick could ever be. I imagine so, but like you don't have to worry yeah. about an awkward conversation or anything like that. You said you had no, a daughter. No, I didn't have to worry about. I didn't have to worry about knocking her off either. Yes, no, I have right. a daughter. By my, by my first. How is so? What's what does your daughter think of the of the documentary? Uh, she hasn't seen the documentary yet. Uh, she thinks she's she likes me. I mean, we're we're, we're uh, you know on very good terms. She did the cover, in fact, for Wet Goddess. Okay. She's a very talented artist, and she designed the cover for my book. There's a bunch of people got questions. Um, not it's it's yes. uh, you know, it's not too often we get to have someone that slept with a dolphin or loved a dolphin, if you will. Jay in San Diego. Jay. Yo, what up, fellas? You got Malcolm yeah. Brenner here. Go ahead. Look, I'm in I'm in the Navy, man, so I've had my fair share of being out to sea and seeing some crazy shit. Now, my question is, how do you compare in detail? Dolphin pussy to some real pussy. I don't have me some pussy from everywhere that I've been, 
And I've never heard of some shit like this. Now I'm in- intrigued to know the in detail the, the comparison between a dolphin pussy and a human pussy. I think he went over that. You said the dolphin pussy is a little bit, it's it's more waterproof, right? And there's salt water inside of it? What? Yeah, there's, uh, there's um, it, it's more rubbery. And uh, mm. a female dolphin um, can do things that, uh, frankly, that a woman can't. What's, what uh, is that, sir? Well, one of the things she can do is she can use her sonar on you, her echolocation, to vibrate her, except she doesn't have to touch you with it. So it'll be like right next to you and be like, vibrate, vibrate your pee-pee, man? Yeah, she can do that with a beam, with a beam of sound. Is that like it was that is that like a dolphin blowjob? Would that is that like comparable since since they, they're so toothy? That's right. Yeah, that's what they do. Um, have you ever been like? Did, who was the dominant one in this relationship? Was it you or was it the was it the female? It was the dolphin man. She weighed four hundred pounds. She could outswim me in the water. And if she had been unhappy with me, you know, there were several ways she could have uh, she could have killed or injured me. And uh, how it happened? Did, in fact, did you ever feel afraid? I felt puzzled by her behavior sometimes, but no, I never felt afraid. I trusted her. Did you okay. ever come in her mouth? <laughs> no. Too many teeth, man. Too many teeth. Yeah, it's a toothy. It's a the dolphins have like a zillion little. No, teeth no, I'm just, no, no, I'm just you know you fuck it and then you like about the nut. Open the dolphy and it goes and then you just nut in the mouth. Yeah, I'm not saying the <laughs> dolphin sucked the dick and then no, I'm just saying you fucking go. You had a dolphin. What was the dolphin's name that you were fucking? The dolphin's name was Dolly. Dolly the dolphin. Dolly. Boston, okay. Detroit. Go ahead, boss. Hey, I got man. Look, this is humanly impossible. The fuck a dolphin. Do you know how big a dolphin's dick is? You got all these white guys calling in, want to fuck, now they want to try to fuck a dolphin. Man, to be honest with you, I got to be truthful. You nasty than a motherfucker. You choosing, you fucking animals. That's just, that's just naturally nasty. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? How the fuck can you know white guys say dicks ain't that big any motherfucking way? So how in the fuck can your dick go inside a dolphin's dick? I mean, pussy. That's human. Like you can't. Your dick can't even fit in a gas cap. And when you right, like you're fueling up for gas, your dick can't even just... fit in there. Just imagine fucking a dolphin. You coming on national radio, wrote a book, blind your motherfucking ass off. And you, don't you just believe hey, they asked me to be on. I didn't ask them to be on. Yeah. This is, all right, look, uh, well, I'm not here to I'm I'm not here to judge you, but like let's address that. Um, dolphins do have bigger uh, bigger penises than men. D- is the dolphin vagina bigger than a woman's vagina? I would imagine it's deeper. Um, I may not even have penetrated her vagina, but I did. Uh, I did certainly try, and uh, I know that the dolphin was very pleased with things because uh, she made it clear to me she groaned. So uh, you we, don't know if you fucked the dolphin or not. Where do you? Where do you think? You I, might I was have trying, it? man. I know he I was, was trying, trying to. You was trying to get there. Did, are you well endowed, or are you just like a regular dude? <laughs> I'm just like a regular dude, man. Just, just a regular, regular fella running the mill, dick. I hear you. Um, mm-hmm. let's go to. Uh, let's go to. Motherfucking um, Yolanda in Minneapolis. Hi. Okay, this I'm gonna make this quick. This is like a three part question. The first part is, how could you think that the dolphin, like this, was somehow consensual when this dolphin doesn't have a human mind? Two, how would you? All right, hold up. Wait, wait. Let's wait. Be quiet. Let let them finish that. Let let them. All right. So, okay. What is what? Do you, what do you say to that, sir? Well, as I was explaining, the dolphin came on to me at first. I didn't come on the to her. The dolphin wanted the dick. The dolphin okay. wanted the dick. <laughs> okay, now explain to me how the, How do you figure that the dolphin wanted the dick? What did the dolphin that's say what to I just you? Spent, that's what I just spent 20 minutes explaining. And it's I heard necessary, that. Yeah. That she was licking Dog. on you, but really? that She's in water. He, She, I mean, okay, Yolanda. now how would you feel if Yolanda. your daughter was getting dicked down by a dolphin? How would you feel? Uh, that, that would be... You know, that's between her. That's between her and the other dolphin. 
Right. As it is, she's, uh, she's married, and she has a very good life for herself. I mean, you can tell what animals want to do, dude. Like, I've seen, pet, like, you know, like, I don't think you're a rapist, sir. And I think that, if anything, you were, like, the bottom in this relationship. It sounds <laughs> like the dolphin yeah. was running shit. Right Did you ever bring Dolly, like, food or anything like that? or? or? <laughs> No, no, I never, I never gave her any fish or any kind of a reward like that for, uh, for performing. Um, this is an interesting question. Uh, John in Ottawa. Yeah, hey, what up? Go ahead, man. All right. Yo, since this dolphin was such a hoe, you ever consider the fact that maybe she has some sort of dolphin STD that you could have contracted, and, you know, you fuck a girl, you, get, you bring it over to the human population? Can you get diseases from dolphins? They, you can. Uh, they do uh, succumb to a variety of diseases, but she was a healthy dolphin, and uh, as far as I knew, her trainer was taking good care of her. And uh, What do they get, like disease. dolphin aids or some shit? Like, what do they get? Um, they can get a thing called uh, morbillivirus. Uh, they can get, um, uh, what is it? Not. Uh, they can get gonorrhea. Oh, uh, sure. Dolphins yeah. can get gonorrhea? That's weird. That's fucking wild Yes, it is, shit. I believe. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, they, uh, they're also susceptible to some other diseases that, uh, affect animals, but I'm not a marine bat vet, so I couldn't really tell you. But, uh, she was a healthy dolphin, and, uh, that was enough for me. Okay. All right, man. Yo, uh, what do you hope for people to get from this movie, uh, and, and your book, as a matter of fact? Why don't you go, what's the name of the book again, sir? Wet, wet Goddess. Wet Goddess. What do you hope for people to get from Dolphin Lover and Wet Goddess? I should hope that people would learn that dolphins are intelligent, uh, self-aware creatures, and that it's wrong to keep them in captivity. This is this is a form of slavery. I agree with you. Owning to me, owning a pet is like animal slavery. I didn't. I can't believe how much I agree with a lot of your stances, Damn. sir. I got to tell you. Really. Well, I don't yeah, think I mean, a pet is 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 necessarily animal slavery. I'm, I but go a dolphin, that far. A, yeah, a dolphin is not a pet. A dolphin is uh, an individual. It's it's a creature. It's a being. It has a mind of its own. It can it can think for itself. You know, and and they do every day. They take care of each other out in the ocean. What's the IQ of a dolphin? Do you know? Uh, you know, scientists don't even know if IQ tests reflect human intelligence accurately, so I don't know. Okay. Dolphins, I can tell you this about dolphins, they use tools, okay, they name themselves, it's pretty certain by now that they have a language, in other words, that they're able to communicate with each other. And, uh, you know, these are things that most animals do not possess. I was, I was shocked, frankly, I was shocked by how bright the dolphin was and how she seemed to be out thinking me most of the time it wasn't just that she was physically more powerful but that you know there was a mind in there it, it was it was she was, she aware. was the brains she was the brains of the operation <laughs> you were like a little fuck toy bro you were like a fucking like i felt that way at first yeah i felt that way at first before the emotional side of the relationship developed more then you came to terms with the fact that you was like her little boy toy, and then, like, it worked out. Well, I felt flattered, frankly. I mean, yeah. nobody else was paying me that kind of attention. Ain't that some shit. Well, yeah. um, that, uh, Malcolm Brenner, I appreciate you uh, coming up and, be, and, and speaking so candidly about your love affair with Dolly the Dolphin. Rude Jude and Lord Sear, thank you for having me on, guys. All right, uh, you guys can see this shit. Uh, I, I don't mean to call it like that. You know, that's just our language. Uh, you, can see dolphin, <laughs> you can see Dolphin Lover. Uh, is that going to be on Netflix or anything like that? Or is it, is, is, is it going to have a theatrical release or what? Um, the, uh, the filmmakers tell me that they are in negotiations for distribution. And uh, right. I'm sure it will eventually be on uh, Netflix or YouTube or something like that someday. They are putting it through the film festival circuit right now. If people want to watch the teaser again, they can go to DolphinLoverMovie.com. There you go. DolphinLoverMovie.com. That's Malcolm Brenner. He uh, had a love affair with a dolphin.